I just want to give uh, 12 reasons, or no, 13 reasons, of why you should abandon atheism. The first reason you should abandon uh, atheism is that there is no free will in atheism. Because the human condition, uh, human beings are just biological entities, that is just really matter, then there is no free will, there is no human being making real free choices. So that's one reason why you need to abandon atheism. Secondly, you need to abandon atheism because human beings don't have dignity within atheism. You see, on the wider cosmos perspective, the human condition is that we are just part of this wider material universe. And just being material objects ourselves, uh, we really have no significance. So objectively speaking from an atheist position human beings are meaningless so number one uh, atheism gives us no free will number two it gives us no human dignity number three atheism provides us not with no moral standards morality is just a subjective thing it's whatever a particular culture says is moral uh, or a particular period of history uh, morality fluctuates from one culture to another culture but there is no objective moral standard in atheism so you need to abandon atheism fourthly there is no vision within atheism the atheists will talk about the so-called default position where they will say that at the end of the day all that atheism is is lack of belief in God blah 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 but in the end of the day that's not enough to build a civilization or to build societies or to help uh, an education system in other words there is a complete lack of vision of what it should be uh, how we are to go forward uh, and develop civilization and to develop cities and towns and villages to develop universities colleges etc there's simply no vision within atheism Furenbach did try to give us to give some kind of vision but the new atheism completely lack any real helpful vision to develop society. Next reason why you should leave atheism is there is a lack of culture within the atheism of today. There is a lack of, lack of engagement with the wider cultural issues and cultural perspectives. And uh, this is a, a very sad development indeed. Uh, if you look at the key books of a Daniel Dennett, uh, Sam Harris and Dawkins and Christopher Hitchens you will find that they do not explore the deeper riches of culture they do not explore the deeper parameters of scholarship and it's sad to see number six you need to leave and abandon atheism because there's no real science within atheism in other words the Christian perspective provided the basis for the scientific method if Western civilization abandons the Christian perspective then it will put science in jeopardy because the parameters that science operates on will be questioned and in the end it will end up in a, a purely uh, Polani, Michael Polani uh, subjective kind of position in science but if you want objective science then you need to come back to Christianity that provides the parameters for science that is that there is uh, a, an objective universe with objective laws that can be investigated with a mind that is reliable because the objective laws and objective reality is maintained by God and as God has given us a reason which which is reliable to investigate nature without these parameters science will descend into a subjectivism and will lose its vigor and power that it once had. 7. We have no history. Atheism does a revisionist history and keeps out the things that it doesn't want you to know. It doesn't want to, you to know the millions that it has killed in the past. But it also rewrites history, leaving out the great 
great achievements that Christianity has. If you want real history and full history and a real full understanding of history then you need to abandon atheism. Eighthly, you need to abandon atheism because in atheism there is no real joy. The Apostle Paul said rejoice in the Lord and again I say rejoice. He said that in prison and he was able to have a real satisfying joy. The joy that atheism provides and the physical pleasures will will not be enough to sustain you throughout life. You need a deep joy, an abiding joy and if you want that real joy you can have it in Christianity. So abandon atheism. Ninthly, atheism provides no peace to the world. In fact, it provides great division. The atheism, atheism when it is taken to control, has caused more havoc than religion has ever done in the history of religion. If you want peace in the world, you need to follow Christ's dictum, who said that real, uh, to, 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 to be a real person is to love. He said, you are my disciples if you will love one another as I have loved you. So come out of atheism, abandon it if you want uh, real peace in the world. And then again we'll come back to this issue again about love. The tenth reason why you should abandon atheism is that the heart of atheism is hate. It is hate towards Christianity. But at the heart of Christianity is love. Love one another as I have loved you, says Jesus. The eleventh reason why you need to come out of atheism is because there is a God. There is a personal, or powerful, mighty, relational God. This God created the universe, created the world, and wants you to have a relationship with Him. We know this is the case because as we look at creation, it shows us a designer, it shows us that we have a purpose, these things are so obvious but the atheists try to deny it and the evolutionists with their clever ways but at the end of the day the argument is so simple it's irrefutable they do not want to accept that argument of design principally on the basis of their pride and their lack of wanting to obey this God there is a God who you can have a relationship with and you need to abandon atheism and come into that relationship through the cross do you remember for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 The Bible is the road map to heaven. It is the word of God. It is, is stood against all the assaults that atheism has ever put against it. And it will continue to stand. And it provides that salvation, points us to Christ, and points us to the living God. So abandon atheism because God is alive. And we can see it in creation. And the Bible shows us how to know this God. Twelfth reason to abandon atheism is there is no forgiveness for your guilt. If you have guilt today in your life, the only way to get rid of it is at the cross. And atheism cannot provide you with that. And then finally, the thirteenth reason why you should abandon atheism is because of Christ. Atheism will not teach you to believe in Christ. If you look at all the great atheist leaders in history, such as Karl Marx, Sigmund Freud, Nietzsche, Sartre, Bertrand Russell, Sam Harris, whoever they may be, and you compare them and their lives and what they did and what they have achieved, and you compare it to Christ, Christ towers above them as a mighty, mighty person. There was no one like Christ. There was no one as loving as him. No one as sacrificial as him. No one as great as, it, as him in history. And atheism will not tell you that. Atheism will not tell you that Christ died on the cross for your sin. Atheism will not tell you that he rose from the dead. And atheism will not tell you to believe in him. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father but through me. If you want to know God, you go to Christ. And atheism will not tell you that. So the reason why you need to re leave atheism are 13 reasons. And I hope that you find a meaning to life in Christ. But you will never find a meaning in atheism.
Thank you for listening and God bless you. Thank you.